Jade May here, just gonna do my December video. I'm calling it just a December video because there's a lot of stuff in it. I'm gonna tell you about my haul, the ending of the Stitch from Stash budget group, and of course my whip updates, my 2015 plans, and then some Christmas haul stuff. So it's a lot in this video. I don't know why, but I've had to restart this video several times. I'm just not, I don't know, I feel all kind of awkward for some reason. Anyway, um, I'll start with my haul. Um, I finished the Stitch from Stash budget year in with $100 left to spend. So I was $100 under budget for my Stitch from Stash. So I was really proud of myself. I was really shocked with everything that I purchased this year, but a lot of mine have been from thrifts and things like that. So, But this last haul was $9, and I, or this last month I spent $9, and I got it from our Goodwill, which is a thrift store. And when I walked in, I just, it was kind of a random, we weren't even looking for that kind of stuff. I just walked over to see what they had. And um, they had these stacks of books anywhere. I think the lowest one was like 15 books and the highest was like 35 books. And they were just saran wrapped. And you could tell they were like in alphabetical order. And there had been somebody's stash that they brought into the Goodwill. And the Goodwill just grouped them into like counted out 15 books or 25 books and you know, saran wrapped them together. And they ranged anywhere from $8, $9 to like $15. So, you know, the $35 stack, the 35 book stacks were $15. There were 10 stacks. It was so hard for me not to get them all, but it would have been $100. And I just couldn't justify $100 on books that I didn't know for sure what they were. However, I did buy one stack. I only left with the one stack. And that was because of this pattern right here that was in the stack. It's called Bathroom Humor by Three Needles. Um, they're just three small patterns that are meant for the bathroom. And my aunt, like I've mentioned in my video before, used to cross stitch and so did her best friend. And her best friend had two of these hanging up in her bathroom. And I just remember seeing those every time. I mean, her daughter was like my best friend growing up. So I remember seeing these all the time in her bathroom. And it was when I started cross stitching, it was a pattern that I started looking for from the very beginning. I don't know that I'll ever stitch it. I mean, it was copyrighted in 1981, so, but it was just one of those things that I wanted for my stash. I'm a pattern collector, so that's, that's just me. Um, two of the patterns are the same. There's just a boy version and a girl version, and it says, it's a truth we must remember. It's a fact as sure as fate. There are some things that can't be hurried and some things that just can't wait. And it's got a little girl sitting on the potty and the dog laying beside her and she can't be hurried. And then it's got her standing outside of the door and she just can't wait. And she's like, you know, doing the pee, pee dance. And I just, and then they've got it for the boy as well. <laughs> I just remember this as a kid and always wanted it. So I got it. And then the other one says, love means never having to scrub your own back is the third pattern. But they just, like I said, they got the boy version and the girl version. And I just, I've looked for this and looked for this. So that's why I got the, the sack. However, these books were also in the stack. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of Beatrix Potter. I'll start with those. Um, in this, in this stack, um, I guess it was, like I said, I, it really seemed like they were just in alphabetical order, no rhyme or reason. But, um, these Beatrix Potters that I've seen, I've looked up online, and some of these books are selling on eBay and stuff for rather pricey, like $30 and $40 a piece, because they're out of print. But I don't know that I'll get rid of them anytime soon. Um, I think these are all made by the Green Apple Company. They are. The first one is Beatrix. Beatrix Potter Birth Sample of One. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to kind of show you a quick. The Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe. The Story of a Fierce Bad Rabbit. That's one that my aunt never read to me. She read me a lot of the. Beatrix Potter books, but never that one. The Tale of Two Bad Mice. I have heard of that one. Peter Rabbit's ABCs. And if any of you guys see it, these that you want, if you leave in the comment, I will can give you like, the book number and that kind of stuff to where you can look them up. The Tale of Peter Rabbit, of course, that's one of the, you know, more popular Beatrix Potter ones. Beatrix Potter ones. The Beatrix Potter Alphabet. And then Beatrix Potter miniatures and then like little bookmarks and ornaments and stuff. 
also in this group I have let's see I think there's only two of these yes Pat Rogers counted collection there's the antique alphabet and then the hearts and flower sampler They are actually two footprints. I'm sorry. Two footprint ones. Like I said, they were in alphabetical order. So there's this one by His Promise footprint. I'm thinking I already have this one. I don't know for sure. And then Seaside Designs footprints. Then there was a Priscilla's Precious Bears. Children learn what they live. Why God Made Little Boys. This is actually by Stony Creek. It is. One of the older ones. Babies Don't Keep. A lot, of, a lot of baby thing, I guess bathroom baby, Beatrix Potter, all the bees. <laughs> then there was two of these Ann Fitzgerald Dear God Kids. Apparently these are sayings or things that kids have said to God. Um, a lot of, there's just cute little sayings like, um, let's see, I'm trying to see if I can find one. Here's some of them. Just little you know, how kids say things that are, dear God, mom says that you always look after me. Don't you ever take a nap. When you were small, did you have to go to bed early? Just little things like that. And then there was actually a whole calendar. It's got a year's worth of months, obviously. And then, oh, that is not upside down. I thought it was upside down. And then it, and it's unmarked, so you can make it for any year. And then it's got the patterns, and then, or it's got the, what it looks like stitched. And then throughout it, it's got the actual patterns mixed in with them. And then two books. This one is McCall's Needlework and Craft. Country cross stitch. And these are just a bunch of different country patterns. Like I said, I got the stack for that one pattern. So all the rest were bonuses. 101 Alphabets by Del Burdett. And last but not least, the New England Alphabet by Del Burdett. And then I have this little cross stitch tips in there. But that was all of my haul for that for December. And I was really proud. I was trying not to bomb for myself since it was um since it was, you know, the end of the month and near Christmas. I have since purchased my first um purchase from Clouds Factory, thanks to Kelly Joe. I had to get her Cat in the Hat, or the Dr. Seuss one from um, cloudsfactory.net, and I've got that printed up and put away already, but um, I did get that, and then I got there two free designs as well. I think one was like a little Santa ornament, or a snowman ornament, and then one was like an autumn block. They were both freebie designs, so. But that was it for my haul. And um, I will show you now my whip progress. Um, I got a lot of stitching done this month. I was really shocked. Um, I did get on the Hangouts with Wonderfully Hopeless that she was hosting, and I will eventually try to host some myself. Um, I don't know how to figure that out. That's going to be a learning curve in itself. I've, it's been so much fun. Um, I know that if you're part of the Facebook group, she puts the link up to where you can see the, you can follow the link to the video. I don't think it's just live on her page anymore. There was a little bit of drama. Imagine that. Well, she was finally getting drama. Um, but you have to have the actual link website to go and watch it live. And then there's a little chat box and people can chat if you're not comfortable getting on there. But it's so much fun. Uh, there have been several, like, I think there was one 10-hour, you know, hangout that we were all <laughs> chatting in and out. Not, like, necessarily the same person all the way through, but, you know, in and out people chatting and it was been a lot of fun and I'm, I'm amazed at how much progress I get done when I'm stitching and chatting. But here is Starry Night. I'm almost done with a page. I think I'm like 20 stitches away from being done with a stay page. I don't know why I couldn't finish the page. But there that is. 
like I've just got and it's the confetti bits that I did and all the blocks of color are done but it's almost a full page so once I finish this page I'll come on up to this page and once I finish this one I'll be halfway done with Starry Night so I'm excited I'm actually seeing progress get made and wow there is a needle hanging in there and it stayed this whole time that I'm flopping this fabric around let's secure that a little better to where my three-year-old doesn't find it with his foot yes three he is now three oh he's getting too big too fast anyway there's the progress and then I got more done on 99 bottles again almost a page complete once I finish this bottle my first page of this um I'm sorry what will be my second page it was my second page will be done yes it'll be my second page will be done two pages will be done and that is one two three four five six seven eight nine 11, 22, almost 33 bottles done. Almost a third of the way done. So see, I've made some progress with my, with my bigger whips this month. And then, last but not least, is the stocking for my husband. And I didn't get as much progress done on that. Work has been crazy. So I haven't had as much time, you know, on breaks to stitch because I haven't had a lot of breaks. <laughs> But here I am. I've finished all of Santa's sleigh. There's an ort on there. All of Santa's sleigh. The little jet stream, I guess. Or a cloud. I think it's going to be a cloud. Which doesn't make sense because there's stars too. But whatever. Um, and then some of the houses. So I'm really impressed by that. I, again, I love stitching their patterns. Even with that little weird thing with the color conversions and then like the colors not making sense on the chart their patterns are so easy to read there's no back stitch there's no quarter stitches and then this is on 18 count linen over two which makes it the same as a nine count you know ada or whatever so it's just a really really easy fun quick stitch i did have to work this is um wilchelt raw linen i did have to really like work with the like the fabric and rubbing it together like i was washing it to get it soft because it was so so stiff like like causing me abrasions it was so <laughs> stiff but that's raw linen so but there that is i already have his name mapped out and everything and i don't think it will take much longer um to finish it's the, the bigger parts were um Santa and then I've got to do the two reindeer and the rest of it is just like a couple more little houses and then his name so that's it and then my Christmas haul um my husband absolutely sorry I just completely went off frame there I think um completely spoiled me as far as cross stitch things go he got me a lot like we didn't do or I didn't want anything big this year for Christmas I wanted like a lot of little things so we each made an Amazon wish list and then we each have our own account and we made the rule that if it had my name on it, he was not to open the box and if it had his name on it, I was not to open the box. So, um, he got me a one, two, three stitch gift card for $30 and I don't know if I've ever shown you my, I've got a pink bag like this that I carry, um, to go projects in and it is made by, it's called the Barcelona bag by International Arrivals. I originally got my first one at the container store however when I looked online I could not find them online on the container stores online store but Amazon does have them and they've got like three colors but um I love this bag it is a I want to say 13 by 14 bag I'm not sure but um it's got this front pocket which has got mesh which is great for holding patterns and supplies it's got this very large inner packet that will hold your bag, zipper, compartment that will hold your fabric and your frame. I can actually hold my, I don't want to say my 11 by 11, but maybe my 8 by 8, maybe my 11 by 8 um, Q-snap in here. The, the, it'll hold my Q-snap, my fabric, and my floss in here. And it, it's got this Velcro part and another little back in your back compartment here and it's made out of almost I say duck cloth but it's like waterproof so you don't have to worry about anything getting through the bag 
I'm just, I love these bags. And so now I have a pink one and a black one, and this is the one that I don't see got me. And then he also got me the wonderful storage that Mackenzie started to craze about. And it's the, now it's called the Dari 72 count um, tiny bead collections and um, the bead storage solutions. So he got me this as well. This is my big gift. This is what I really wanted. Um, something, and it did come with the labels. I went to look for a label maker to do like somebody else did that labeled the front of the bead boxes as well. Oh my gosh. I could find cheap label makers, but if the label makers were cheap, then their tape was like more expensive than the label maker itself was. And then if the tape was cheap, then the label makers were like $40 and $50. And I just can't <laughs> spend that much money just to label beads. So I'm going to have to come up with another solution. But um, something that I did not realize about this, and I was going to show you guys. Mine does have this click top. I think they all have the click top. And this comes off, and that's where you actually get to your containers. Something that shocked me was that I thought these were like sectioned out to where if I pulled this one out that they would stay up but they don't they're just laying inside this kind of tray thing which is fine it doesn't make me love it any less but I wanted to be in the picture somehow for whatever reason I thought that they each had their own little like you could take one out and the gap the place would stay open and you could put it back in so they do not do that so if you think they do just know that they don't but that's, um, that's, oh, and then I got a, sorry, and then I got a $20 gift card to my Hobby Lobby from my dad and my stepmother. That was like, they got us a joint gift and then got us each a small, you know, individual gift. And with that, I got some other, some pencils to chart my chart, to mark my charts with and a pencil sharpener. And then I got this pattern that I have wanted for forever and just keep putting, keep picking up, picking it up, picking it up and putting it down. It is the, um, Thomas Kincaid Fantasia Mickey Mouse. I've wanted this and want, I love Mickey. My son loves Mickey. So I can't tell you how many times I've gone to buy this and then didn't, but that was, that was for my parents. And then on to my 2015 plans. Um, I have decided that I've changed my mind about doing Save the Stitches. Um, it's, it's nothing against Save the Stitches. It's a beautiful pattern. It is so big that it's just got me very overwhelmed. And I just, the more I went to buy the fabric and realized that in order to do it on 32 count fabric, I was going to have to have like a 18 by 20 or 32 piece of fabric at least. So that was going to give me a 27 by 36 inch piece of fabric. I was just like, this is just going to be way too big for me to do. I think it's only like, I think it works out to where it's 12 inches by 24 inches completed. Then you have to have the room for the finishing and stuff. But that's a foot by two foot. And that's just so big to me. And I'm afraid that with Starry Night and everything else, it would just be too daunting. I am going to still make a video kind of like Mrs. Milky Bar Kid did. And it's just going to be kind of like sign up here. That way you guys who were doing the Save the Stitches stitch along. Because I kind of mentioned it originally. <sighs> those of you who are still going to do it can sign up and share where you're going to be sharing information. That way you guys can all get together and still follow each other and follow each other's blogs or Instagrams or YouTubes or groups or whatever, however they're going to share it. That way that's all kind of in one place. I am, however, she, Elizabeth Almond is the lady who makes Saves the Stitches. It's also doing a free stitch along that starts in March and it's called Box of Delights. There's nothing but a small preview up on her Pinterest page. She doesn't even have the preview yet on her actual Save This or Black Work website yet. But it's a lot smaller. It's going to last six months. So that'll be what, March, March, April, May, June, July, August. So March th through August. She said it's a lot. I've messaged her back and forth about the two because I couldn't decide. And she said that Box of Delights is a little easier 
for someone that's not ever done black work and um, a little less daunting, less less of a bigger project. And it's got, um, you can do it in a lot of colors, black and white or white on blue. There's a lot of more customizations on it than stay, well I mean say the stitches I guess is wide open but I don't know. Anyway, I just really, really like the Box of Delights. I, I mentioned it on the Cross Stitch and Discuss too, and I posted the what the picture, uh, her preview picture. And like I said, it is also on her Pinterest page if you follow her. I will be doing that in March. I am gonna start on January the first with the Mira Stitch Along, and I'm doing the Emerald Dragonfly. And I will start that as soon as midnight rolls around Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve. Wow, I'm behind or ahead. Um, New Year's Eve, whenever 12 o'clock rolls around, that's what I'll start working on. I am going to hopefully be joining in on a hangout. There's having We're having a New Year's Eve hangout. Um, they've got one for Australia, um, Europe, and then the North America. There's all kind of, there's more than one hangout going on for the different areas to where you can be stitching into your new year. And, um... So that, you can find links on that on uh, through Wonderfully Hopeless's page if you want to join in on that. And again, it's in you, because of some drama, it is invite only. And in order to continue to watch along, you do have to have a link to the video. And if you get with Wonderfully Hopeless, I'm sure she'll be able to share more information through there. There's a group now for the Hangouts um, called, I won't say Cross Stitch, it's fun. It's what it's called. Yes, that is what it's called. And um, she kind of posts more information about the hangouts there. So anyway, my plans will be to do the Mirabilia, Mirabilia stitch along, Emerald Dragonfly, and then um, of course work more on Starry Night and 99 Bottles. And then in March I'll be doing the um, Box of Delights. I also want to finish my husband's stocking and start my stocking. And those are all my scheduled plans. I say scheduled. I like the word scheduled. I think, was it D Stitcher who said, these are my scheduled starts. Because I'm sure I'll have more starts along the way. Ones that I'm not planning on. But the ones I'm planning on are just the, um, just the Mirabilla and just that box of delights. And then my stocking. And the only three planned starts that I have. Because I really want to finish um starry night and 99 bottles so uh, that's my those are my focus pieces for this year but that's really everything um again thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and commenting and making videos yourself if you do thanks for joining on hangouts if you're there and um just look forward to next year seeing you guys whips and your progress and I just hope it continues to be as welcoming a place as it is, and Happy New Year. Take care.